Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game LLC here in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Quacks of Quenlinburg, and this includes the Herb Witch expansion as well as the promos from the Spiel goodie box, all organized in one box. This also uses the upgraded components from Board Game Geek as well as the upgraded bags and the printable solo mode. So it's got all this in one box with no lid lift. So without further ado, let's take a look. First off, we open up the top here, and inside you can see it is a little jam-packed, but it is well organized. So you've got the different bags here for the different player colors. You've got green, red, yellow, black, and blue. And let's take a look at what's inside of each of these bags. So we'll go ahead and open it up, and inside we have the spillover container. We've got the flask, and we have the starting components. So that's going to be your starting green, orange, your starting money tokens, if you're playing with those Herb Witch expansions, your starting ruby, and your starting seven white chips, as well as your score markers, your rat tail markers, and your droplets. So we can put all that back into the bag, and that's gonna be the same for each of the bags. You're gonna put all the starting components in there. Let's keep on going. On top here, you can see we have all the event cards in a little bag. We've got the solo mode components in a bag. You have all of the different tiles here, and these are nice to have, kind of free form, because you can easily shuffle them up and then pick randomly. Really nice. Below, you can find a tray here. Now this tray itself, it is a DVG tray, deep dish counter tray. So you can totally get these at any of your major uh, board gaming retailers, it's like a buck, three bucks, something like that, but absolutely worth it. In Quacks, you simply remove the lid, and inside you've got all of your basic components here organized super well. you got the fours, the twos, the ones, and extra room for additional ones because some of these components there'll be a lot of, especially if you're playing with the fifth player expansion. Got lots of pumpkins, lots of blacks, so all of the core components here. Super nicely organized. On the left side here in these small containers, You've got these round containers in order to signify that these are going to be kind of things that you'll be gathering throughout the game. These are going to be the red rubies. And these containers you can get at Dollar Tree. You can buy 10 of them for a single dollar, which is amazing. They kill paper bag, or sorry, they kill plastic bags for me. You simply place the tray underneath and you set it on the table and it's ready to go. It's got a nice little spot for you to grab, easy to throw in. And when you're done, you simply pop it back on like that. Super nice. You've got your purple components here. You've got your snot colored ones. And lastly, we've got the dye, extra white pieces just in case. And you've got your white marker, your uh, round marker. You also have your white ones in here that you'll be adding to your bag once you get to the round five, I believe it is. Underneath that, we have a silica gel packet just to keep things nice and dry in here so nothing warps. We've got our promos from the goodie box. We've got the different five player boards underneath. The player, um, I guess not the player board, but the scoreboard and the round tracker. And then you've got the rule book as well as the herb witch rule book and all other rule books underneath, including the expansion the mini expansion rule book. So that's all there. And that's it. That's everything inside the container. Without further ado, let's go ahead and pack it up. So first off, we've got the rule book itself. We've got the round board, the player cauldrons, promo tiles. You've got the silica gel packet. You've got our nice token tray here. And we can put the lid on that. You've got all these additional containers on the left here. You've got the cardboard reminders and the different potions and whatnot. And you kind of just put them on the side like that. You've got the event cards, the solo cards, and then you've got your player pieces. And that is how you organize the 
Quacks of Quedlinburg with all of its content. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I hope some of you found this video useful, and if you have any ideas for games that you'd like to see us organize, please let us know down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. Side Game Strong.